the fathers don't comment <clears throat> much on the personhood of the word as he existed within the father. But there are statements from certain fathers that show that God was reasoning within himself. And that's the conversation he had with his logos. But why are you asking me that question, Daddy? I want to know what your motive is. You'll find statements when they do comment that the father was reasoning within himself, conversing within himself. And that conversation is with the logo so that there is <clears throat> rationality <clears throat> as part of the logos when he's within God. But why are you asking me? I want to know what your motive is. Be quick to respond before I bounce you. Why are you asking me? You got 10 seconds, buddy. 10, 9, 8, 7. Get ready, Mods. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, you saved yourself, little chicken, little coward. See, when I threatened to bounce you, then you then you commented. But I think there's more to, for more behind your question. You little chicken, you little coward. Buck, buck, buck. Why did you ask in reality, Daniel? Because you just wasted my time and distracted me. Okay. What was your motive in asking? Because you just robbed us of time that I could have used to read the rest of the citation. I just want to make sure. Because you're guilty until proven innocent. In my channel, because I deal with heretics and sons of the devil, you're guilty until proven innocent. And if you're a regular, then I'll know if you're one of the sheep. So why did you ask, Daniel? 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two. Lashan, why don't you start barking like a demonic bastard and call me on Skype so I can muzzle you, which your mom should have done. All right. Daniel's got to go, guys. Send him on his merry way. Bye-bye, Daniel. Don't forget to write. Bye-bye, Daniel. Send him out of here, guys. Bye, my friend. All right. Let's continue. Well, you know what? May God save me if I am and convict me to realize that I am and save me from my flesh so I never dishonor the Lord Jesus. Okay? Sam, you have asked Lord God to convict you and save you, so you never dishonor him again. Your prayers have been answered. For God dwells in his faithful servants, his saints, his children. So I have come to tell you that you are in danger of hell fire. You are not doing the will of the Father who is in heaven, but you are doing the desires of your pride. And God will send you away when you stand in front of him. So turn around and flee from the wrath that is to come, while your heart is still beating and you have air in your lungs. Repent of your wicked ways and become reconciled to God, so that you too, can keep God's law of love. I will decimate him. And you're running your mouth, and I need to muzzle you for the fat slob that you are, the fat slob that you are. You fat slob. I'm going to muzzle you for the glory of Jesus. Why? I'm going to muzzle you for the glory of Jesus. Why the glory of Jesus? Why? Sam, if you do not repent from your wicked ways, you will say on that day, Lord, Lord, did I not muscle and decimate people in your name? Then God will tell you plainly. I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoer.